it is time for a new era of fantasy turn-based strategy. Yes. Oh yeah, Max Stone, 9999, Symphony of War. Yes. 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 To battle. That's, uh, uh, Permadeath is in, oh, I forget the name of those games. Fire Emblem, that's right, Fire Emblem. Alright, this is not going to be a long video, I just wanted to test this out before I go to bed. Start a new game, yes, yes! That planet, yes. Ah, there you are, child of destiny. You've arrived at a very opportune time. You will find. Let me look into your heart. Who are you? Will your journey be marked by virtue? Or will this land's people remember you? As an adversary? Which personal flaw do you want to avoid most? Uh, oh boy. Personal flaw. Deceptive and exploitative. I guess that one. What do you look for most in a mate? I'll go with intellect. What most leads to the downfall of great civilizations? Faithlessness. What is the most important trait a leader should have? Yes. When on death's door, what will you consider a life well lived? I did it all my way. I guess this one. Which form suits you? Male or female? Yes. I'll go male. Yeah. I go back. Uh, how do I delete? Delete. Delete. For I am Max Stone. Yes. 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 Thank you. What an intriguing soul. Go, and I'll see you here again when the time is right. Year 972, capital city, Emperor of Iridia. 972 to what? 
Mm, yeah. Look at the peoples. By the gods, the child survived. And the father? Perished, fighting for the nobles, just like most of the young in this town. The mother prepared names for this. This one shall be named Max Stone 9999. Yeah. He is so beautiful. May he live to see a better world. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 25 years pass. Tanra, in the 99th, 7th year of our age, three realms rule the land. Them MFers, the Desert Kingdom of Bwa, whose wealth earned it the title of Kingdom of Gold. Uh, them MFer, MFers, the technologically advanced Free Republic of Sandraka. and the hegemonic empire of Viridia, the world's military and economic superpower, where our story begins. One generation ago, multiple bids for the Viridian imperial throne plunged the land into war. This is known as the War of Viridian Secession. The long and bloody war ended with the coronation of Empress Florina. Yes. However, it left deep scars in the people's hearts, as resentment against the excesses of the ruling class rose to the boiling point. Common people who had lost so much were forced to endure increasing hardships as the Empire sought to rebuild. Twenty-five years after the end of the Secession War, a man named Antares. <laughs> Antares. <laughs> That's from uh, Master Bo Ryan, too. <laughs> you stealing stuff, bro? A battle-worn general kidnapped the Empress and formed his own army in an act of open rebellion. Ooh, 
open rebellion. You can't rebel against Big Brother. What the F? He now controls a territory in the forest known as the East Wall of District. <laughs> Driven by what he believes to be undue hardships by the central government. And Terry threatens to sack the Imperial capital if his demands are not met. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The ambitious Prime Minister, Casimir, has called the General's bluff and has decided to take military action. He orders a force sent to Antares' stronghold at East Wall Fortress. To battle at East Wall? Yes! Two young and promising Imperial Army officers, Max Stone 9999, and his longtime friend Zalios, have prepared to meet General Antares in battle. Little could they know how much their adventure would change the course of history. Yes, it is time. <laughs> Death to all who oppose the Max Stone. Imperial Army Encampment, East Wall Province. Yes. Ah, uh, what am I gonna fight? Ah. Uh. Let us raise a glass to my friend, Max Stone 9999. Alright, yay. Where am I at? I don't even know what I'm doing. Bet you all thought he wouldn't make it to this make it this far. Now ready to lead his first squad into battle, but I knew better. Not in the celebrating mood, Max Stone 9999. There's a lot on the line. The Empress's life is in our hands. I'm not worried. I doubt these guys can keep up with you. It helps having a one-man army in our midst. I'm just a man. We've got the gods on our side. I'm going to trust in my soldiers, not some idea. Don't tell me you believe in those fairy tales now. Don't underestimate the power of ideas. Look at how this empire is starting to forget the ideas that built it. With a proper leader, people would again feel a part of something. There would be no generals going rogue. We've come a long way since the academy, but now we face the real thing. Come, Max Stone 9999. Let's brush up a bit. Ah, here we go. Two battles. It is like a game of chess. You will command groups of soldiers known as squads, and each squad will have a leader. You appear as blue, and the enemy team appears in red. Time to engage in combat. First, you must move your squad next to me. Select your squad and select the tile next to the squad on the map to move. Now it is time to attack. Choose the attack option, then target me. Careful. Defenders will counterattack if they can. This isn't exactly fair. I am one soldier with one sword. 
You're going to command a whole army someday. You must think of yourself as a leader, and your followers are your sword and shield. First things first, show me what you've got. Looks like this is slow. This must be my recording device. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna end this for now. I just wanted to try.